Good evening, everyone. Pete Pepper will be here this week for Doug. After many years of searching, Marine World Africa USA has finally found a new home. This afternoon, park officials announced that they had signed a deal with one of the three Bay Area cities competing for the park. As News 11's Mario Del Castillo tells us, they all had something to offer Marine World. The three cities were Oakland, Mountain View, and Vallejo. Oakland, considered the long shot, set aside 85 acres of prime land and offered some help in financing. Mountain View offered more than 100 acres in its new shoreline park, plus easy access to what is considered Marine World's primary market, the Silicon Valley. But the city wouldn't go along with guaranteeing financing. Vallejo, at this point, didn't have the market, but it does have a site ready to develop with good soil, an in-place lake, and lots of parking. And what, and what that all boiled down to was less expensive construction and less time-consuming construction, which enabled us to have a very realistic shot at getting up in the spring of 1986. Park President Mike Demetrius says the relocation to Vallejo is expected to cost $30 million, and the city is expected to take an active role in financing. Vallejo Mayor Terry Cortola applauds all efforts to keep Marine World in the Bay Area, saying the park will be a definite plus for his city. It's the home of the first naval base in Mare Island Naval Shipyard. It's the home of the California Maritime Academy. And now, very, very proudly, it's the home of Marine World Africa USA, Vallejo, California. The news is a welcome relief for the hundreds of Marine World employees who were unsure about the future. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, uh, it's been a real hard summer not knowing if we're going to even have a marine world, and now we know we are. So it's going to be a lot of work in front of us, but I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. As you might expect, today's announcement came as a big disappointment to Mountain View City officials who spent two long years and an estimated $20,000 in research reports to land a deal with Marine World. The one thing that we were never able to resolve uh, with Marine World was financing. Uh, we were not willing to do any public financing, and uh, we're working on private plans. Despite the disappointment, he says the city is still exploring the possibility of putting in something like Marine World in Shoreline Park. In Mountain View, Mario del Castillo, News 11. Well, Maggie, now that the question about where Marine World is going to be has been settled, the question that's going to hit a lot of folks will be asking tonight, how do you get to Vallejo? <laughs> well, Vallejo is 70 miles and about an hour and 15 minutes drive to the north of downtown San Jose. News 11's Roberto Munoz took that trip today to find out more about Marine World's new home. Today marked the end of a two and a half year wait. That's when the mayor of this town, population 86,000, made it his pet project to bring Marine World to Vallejo. Up until now, Vallejo's claim to fame was that it was the home for the Mare Island Naval Shipyard, a sprawling military complex which employs over 10,000 people. But what this town desperately needed was a major tourist attraction. Even before it became official, there were already signs that Vallejo had indeed been chosen as the new home for Marine World. All over town, banners were going up as word of the good news spread quickly. My sister works down here at City Hall as a janitor, and she lets me know what's going on. I think it's great. <laughs> you think you'll be going there often? Yeah. Local folks say Marine World's move here is just another indication that Vallejo's time has finally arrived. This city is in the midst of a building boom. Even the old downtown section is undergoing a facelift. Well, I think one thing it's going to do is going to stimulate the economy here uh, quite a bit. And then we're going to see a lot of uh, people who weren't interested in before moving here, perhaps they will, they'll decide that, hey, this is a growing town. Among the most excited are Vallejo's teenagers. To them, Marine World means jobs and a place to go. We don't have to travel all the way down to San Francisco to go have fun. What's Vallejo like? What kind of town is Vallejo? It's really kind of slow, but I think Marine World will, you know, bring it up a lot, a lot more. You know, they more exciting, big, a bigger world. place, yeah. About the only opposition to Marine World has come from golfers whose course will have to make way for the amusement park. But even they admit that city officials scored a hole-in-one by convincing Marine World to move here. In Vallejo, Roberto Munoz, News 11.
So now that Marine World has found its new home, many people are hoping that it won't have to close down in Redwood City next month as planned. The park has been ordered to shut down operations and move the 500 exotic animals by mid-October. The Campo Corporation, which owns the land, needs it cleared out to start building a $300 million office complex. Friends of Marine World hope today's news will give them some extra leverage. And we're hoping at this point that um, the Campo Corporation will respond to this change in situation and give us the time we need to make a, a safe and uh, easy move for the animals. I have to hope that Campo will give consideration to that and we might have some positive announcement from them in the near future. But we are still looking at the rights of our client in connection with that closing date, which as far as I know is still on the, on the board. And they say if necessary, they may file for an injunction to keep Marine World open.